Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you are safe and healthy. I'm going to wait for five more minutes that some more people join, and then I will start. Okay, I'll wait for two more minutes and then I'll start. So today I'm going to show you all some mini mandalas, quick mini mandalas. So for that we'll need an A4 size sheet, a compass, ruler, pencil, eraser if if you all need to erase something. Okay, so I'm going to show you all this on an A4 size sheet. I'll just wait for a few more people to join in and then I will start. If you are interested in working along with me, you all can work along with me. I hope I am audible and you all can see my video clearly. Can someone just give me a thumbs up? Am I audible? So we will need an A4 size sheet and I am going to divide this sheet into 4. So if you all want you all can make a nice border, a 1 cm border if you all want to otherwise it is ok. So I am quickly going to make a border. I 
I'm using a plain A4 size sheet. It's an executive bond sheet. Now we are going to divide this sheet in four. So we'll measure from here. So this is 28 centimeter. And from here, that is almost 20. So you just draw a line and divide the sheet in four parts. I'm going to start from here. Now the size of these mandalas is 4 centimeters. Okay. So all are 4 centimeters each. And I'm going to show you how to make these designs in these mini mandalas. So we'll measure 4 centimeter on the ruler. And here we'll just... So this is 5... This is seven. so. I'm going to draw four circles in the four boxes. So I'm just marking the center point, and then I'm, then I'm making the circles. So you all can also do the same, mark the center and draw the circles. And if you all, if you all have any queries, you all can Put your comments in the comments box. Put your queries in the comment box. I will be very happy to answer. Okay. So I have made these four circles. You can either keep your paper vertical or horizontal. Whatever is comfortable for you. So I am going to start from here. And I am going to show you first this mandala. The first mini mandala. Okay, so now this mini mandala I have divided it in three uh, four parts. So, one this circle is one centimeter, then we increase by one more centimeter. So, this is two, this is three, and this is four. Okay, so you can measure one centimeter on the ruler. draw a small circle and we are going to do the same for all the circles so I'm going to draw this one centimeter circle in all the on in all four circles so if you feel that your compass you're not able to make this small circle you can just place your compass and move your paper around like this. Okay. Now this one we'll increase this by one centimeter. So the next measurement is two centimeters. So you measure two centimeters on the circle on the ruler and then we make the second circle. Then again increase it by one more centimeter. And the third circle and the fourth circle is already drawn okay now for all these circles if you see I've given a small point one centimeter covering line okay so I'm going to draw these covering lines too so you can just this I'm going to draw the covering line inside okay it's a point one centimeter covering line now I'm going to increase the width of my compass. Now I don't need to measure this. I'm just 
doing it like this 0.1 centimeter okay so I'm going to first show you how to draw all the circles then we'll continue with the design all right I'm going to show you this one now here this is 0.5 centimeter measurement okay so we'll see the first one is after 1 centimeter this is 1.5 so we measure 1.5 on the ruler sorry it is 2 centimeters the first one so we just draw the 2 centimeter circle then we increase the width of the circle by 0.5 centimeters so the next circle will be 2.5 and one more time 0.5 so this will be 3 sure Surbhi so I am teaching you all mini mandalas these are the mini mandalas which I am going to teach you all ok so I have divided my paper into 4 and I have drawn 4 circles as you can see over here after drawing the circles now if you all want I will write the measurement over here now this first circle is uh, 1 cm second one is 2 cm and third one is 3 cm this biggest circle is 4 cm ok all circles are 4 cm ok now this inside circle over here now this is 1 cm alright then I have given it a 0.2 covering line ok so I am going to write over your covering line is 0 0.2 0 0.2 cm then for the next one now this is again I increase the width so this second circle is 2 cm and the covering line is 0 0.1 cm then this is 3 cm and the covering line is 0 0.1 cm ok now over here the first circle is 1 cm second circle is 2 cm 2 cm the third one is 2.5 cm the fourth is 3 cm ok so we have increased the width of these circles by just 0 0.5 alright now this third one this again is like the first one the measurements are same so you can just increase the width by 1 1 cm and draw 3 circles inside so the third one I'm just it's like the first circle we increase 1 1 cm and we make the covering lines If I'm going too fast, y'all can tell me. I'll wait for y'all, those who are walking along with me. Surbi, I hope this much is clear. So now for this, I'm just giving them a 0.1 cm covering line. Okay, so this is one centimeter, one two centimeter, three centimeter, and four centimeter. The last one also is same. One centimeter, two centimeter, and three centimeter. You're welcome, Surbi. So I'll wait for two minutes. Those who are working along can finish drawing the circles and then I'll continue.
So I'm going to use a uni pen pen over here. Point zero point five and zero point three. And for the fillings, for the negative, for filling the negative spaces, I'm going to use a zero point eight Brewster pen. I'll wait for two minutes. Those who are working along can finish drawing the circles and then I'll continue. If you all have any queries regarding this or if you all haven't understood anything, you all can ask me. Okay, so now I'm going to start with this first one that is this mini mandala. So we are going to start with these collapse in the 1 cm circle. So I'm going to use a 0.5 mm thickness pen. Okay, so this is a uni pen fine liner. So for beginners, the best one is a Sakura micron pen. These are really good for beginners and if you all have a hang of making mandalas, you all can use these other pens. So I'm going to start with the first one. If you all want, you all can even draw lines over here. I'm going to show you for beginners, those who are beginners, what you all can do is you all can divide this circle in 8 parts. So horizontally, vertically, so first we divide it in 2 halves, then 3, and then 4. Okay, so you all can divide the circle in four, ha four halves if you are not comfortable doing freehand mandalas. Okay, so you can divide it like this. Now I am going to start making the scallops. I am going to start from here. So I am going to show you all half and then I will move on to the next one. Okay. So people who have just joined in, I am teaching mini mandalas, how to draw mini mandalas. I have drawn 4 circles and I have drawn the grids inside and I am showing you all how to make these mandalas, this, the mini mandalas. Okay. Okay. So I am going to start from here. I'm making these collapse. So I'm going to move the paper along so that I can draw the scallops nicely. Try and keep the space between the scallops equal. Okay, so 
I'm just showing you it. Go really slow. There's no hurry. You all can go slowly and make this collapse nicely. Okay. Now, this line we are going to just ink it up. Okay. You all can do it freehand or if you all have a compass where your pen fits in, you all can draw these lines with the pen using a compass. If you all are not comfortable drawing like this, you all can use a compass which fits a pen inside. Okay. So I'm going to draw ink this too, the inside one. Don't worry if the lines are not perfect. We are going to fill this portion so it will look neat later on. Okay. Like this. Now inside these collapse I have drawn petals. Like these I have drawn these small petals. So I am going to make these petals inside. So you have to make the petals and complete this circle. Okay. So once all I've made these petals, we are going to fill those petals up. Okay. Like this. Neetu, can you see now? Is it all right now? Let me know if my video is clear. Can you all see the video clearly? Okay, thank you Neetu. So, we are going to fill these up like this, okay? And whatever negative space we have in between these petals, we are going to fill that space too. So, we are going to fill this negative space. Okay, you have to fill the negative space like this. Uh, yes, Surbi, we get colored pens too. Micron has introduced these colored pens also. And otherwise you can use some other company pens like this this is a fine liner luxury fine liner or you get stedler pens pentonic also has some very good range of uh, colored pens so you can buy it from amazon this pen i'm using is uni pen fine liner 0 0.5 Now this negative space you can fill it up using this pen only. We don't need to change. We don't need to take a 0 0.8 mm over here. Okay, so you have to fill this space like this. So once you're done, the first one, first circle will look like this once you're done making it. Okay. You're welcome. So if you all are working along, I'll wait for a minute. So if you all want, you all can continue. Then I'll show you the next circle. How to do the next circle. So 
I'm just going to quickly give this a covering line. I guess I covered the covering line. That's okay. And we are going to ink up this covering line too. Okay. So after you're done, you have to ink up all the lines, the circles. Again, I'm saying if you're not comfortable making it freehand, you all can use a compass which can fit a pen in it. This way. Now I'll move on to the next one. Again over here we are going to make scallops but the size will be a little bigger. So I start from here and like this. So it, th those these scallops will be a little broader in size this way. So you are going to fill this second circle with these broader scallops, alright? See to it that the size of the scallops is equal. Try and go really slow and make keep the space in between the scallops same. This way you all are going to make these scallops. Now for making the inside scallop like this, I am going to use a 0.3 mm thickness pen. Okay, This is a 0.3 mm thickness, it is finer than 0.5. And with this, I'm going to make a la covering line inside this way. Go really slow. There's no hurry to finish your work. You have to go slow so that the lines are straight. Okay. So I have to finish up the whole circle like this and the portion inside we are going to fill it up all right now i'm going to use a 0 0.8 pen to fill this inside Or you can also use a brush pen if you have a brush pen so you all can use a brush pen to fill up this space inside okay like this yes Ankita I will be saving this IGTV video so if you are not working along with me right now, you all can 
watch the saved video later on so once you are done with the second line it will look like this okay and then we have to ink these lines now moving on to the third one the third line so we are going to make these heart shaped petals over here okay so we start from here so i'm going to use a 0.5 thickness pen so i'm going to start from here we just have to give it this shape like this heart shaped and we are going to cover this line with these heart shaped petals don't forget to ink these lines go really slow and make these petals cover the whole circle the last circle with these petals okay so i'm going to do half and i'm going to show you and i'm going to show you the filling inside inside line to we have to draw the line now here we don't need to fill this uh, negative space if you see over here i have left the space like this only okay i've just filled the negative space in the first circle so i can leave this as it is Now again I'm going to use a 0.3 mm pen to do the filling inside this heart shaped petals okay So I'm going to start from this corner down over here and I'm going to draw a swirl inside first a small swirl like this okay give it a covering line then on top of that draw these tiny scallops okay give those scallops a covering line one more covering line on top and this space inside like this i'll make these small slanting lines so if you can see this pattern I hope this is visible. Okay. Same way, we'll fill up the same pattern in all the heart-shaped petals. Again, I'm going to show you. Draw a swirl in the corner. Give it a covering line. Draw tiny scallops on top. give those collapse a covering line another covering line on top then one line over here like this and draw these slanting lines inside and this negative space we'll fill it up okay So we'll finish this and quickly move on to the next one. So if you all are making these you all can send me a picture of what you, of your work and I'm going to share it on my story or can tag Artsy Crafty Hub and I'm going to show uh, share your work on my stories.
okay so once you all are done this third line will look like this okay now i'm going to use a 0.5 mm pen and i'm just going to or a 0.8 will do will work better we are going to just go over these not the whole petal but just the top portion of it okay like this and make these lines thick this way okay So when you are done making these your first mini mandala will look like this and the inside portion i'm going to show you what to do the first 1 cm circle so over here from here we are going to draw a small petal inside and give it a little curve in over here okay and here we'll draw a small circle and this space inside you have to fill it up i hope you all have understood this much is anyone working along with me so you all can put a flower or a heart whatever you all want so i know who, who all are working along with me all right I'm going to move on to the next one. So if you all have missed anything, this video will be saved. You all can watch this live video, watch this uh, saved video, and you all can continue with your work. So now I'm going to show you all this quickly. This mini mandala. again we can divide this sorry this one the 0.5 cm is where we've taken so again we can divide it in eight parts now in the first circle on top of this first 1 cm circle we'll just make a covering line inside this so over here the measurement is the inside circle is 1 cm and this is a 0.1 covering line okay then this first circle is 1 cm so when you measure from here so this will be 2 cm the second circle is 2 cm okay 
then we've just increased 0.5 so this circle what we've drawn is 2.5 the third one is 3 and the fourth one obviously this is a 4 centimeter circle so all these are 4 centimeter circles now we'll start from here and we'll make these tiny scallops in this point one space so I'm going to draw only half and I'm going to show you all okay don't forget to ink these circles like this Welcome Gunal. Okay. Now the next circle we are going to draw scallops. So we are going to fill the second circle with these scallops. okay so you're going to make these collapse this way now if you see over here I have not made covering lines for these circles it's okay this also looks neat but if you all want if you all are not comfortable making it without the covering line you all can draw the covering line okay so now here I'm not going to make any covering line I'm just going to ink this circle and I'm going to fill up the negative space inside So I'm inking this circle first. Okay. And this negative space, the space between the petals, this is a negative space. So I'm going to fill up all this negative space. All right. go slow now inside these petals again I'm going to draw this standing line and a dot okay so and I'm going to fill this whole circle with these standing line and dots these collapse so I draw the standing line inside and a dot on top standing line and a dot standing line and a dot so I'm going to fill this space with these standing lines and dots
Is we are get
into two pen and the leaves. like we
married right And we just Turn in The next We're going to do slide. So what
is to try to get the trying Oh, trying. Okay. 
angle You have to make curve give okay. this to do to the
inside understood so shape delete this and we will can d have give it So what? Sure. 